Hi from Cecilia Costantino. This lesson starts with an overview of the dog's nutritional needs. It will cover the four main groups of them, ending with a description of the minerals dogs need. Making sure your dog receives the proper amount of nutrients is very important. Very often, veterinarians discourage homemade diet since they affirm that balancing properly the nutrients dogs need amongst the food and multivitamins can be difficult. Actually, this will be very easy for you now since I will explain you exactly how to do it. Now, let's have a look at the nutrients your dog needs to be healthy. Out of the 22 amino acids dogs need to be healthy, 12 are synthesized through the diet, while the remaining ones are defined essential amino acids and they need to be given in a proper dose so that the body can work properly. So we can be at a scale identifying the effective quality of proteins we give our dog. In fact, the quality of a protein depends on the facility with which it is absorbed. So, at the top, we will have eggs with 94%, followed by fish with 76% and beef with 74%. It is clear from this that the higher is the quality of the food, according to this scale, the lower will be the quantity of proteins to be given to our dog. All the essential amino acids equally take part into the body functions, but some of them have specific goals, like for example the arginine, fundamental for cell reproduction and development. There are many more like histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine and many others more. Each of these play a specific role in our dog's body. Dogs don't have the biological need to eat carbohydrates, but obviously it's extremely important to include them in the diet since they'll provide different benefits to your dog's health. Let's see why. As energy source, carbohydrates are used by the body and burnt way faster compared to proteins. The hydrates of carbon present in carbohydrates will slow down the digestion process of the dog by giving its intestine more time to absorb the nutrients contained in the food. Carbohydrates represent an excellent source of essential vitamins, minerals and antioxidants which are not contained in proteins. Fiber. The majority of fibers are left undigested by dogs, but they're still very useful since they're able to rebalance the water amount in your dog's digestive system and, furthermore, they help keeping a colon healthy and increase the intestinal flora in order to fight potential harmful bacteria. Fats with respect to fats, obviously, it is suggested not to exceed the recommended quantity since they cause, like carbohydrates and proteins, dog obesity. Yet they're essential since they help the absorption of essential vitamins like uh, vitamin A, D, K and contribute to the production of hormones and improve the aspect of dog's hair, skin and, in the end, they represent a very important source of energy.
There are two kinds of essential fatty acids, which are omega-3 and omega-6. Minerals are inorganic chemical elements, which can be found in the soil, and they are absorbed by plants and eaten by animals eating these plants. So they are contained in the ingredients that we will use in the recipes. Minerals are divided into two categories, macro minerals and the micro minerals. Let's have a look. As you can see, there are two big categories of minerals. Parts of these will be absorbed by the dog through the homemade diet. The other part will have to be integrated with multivitamins, about which I will talk later in a specific video.